God, God dang it. These freaking beavers. That was my fault. I did my instructions wrong. Silly beavers. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. Oh, I feel terrible about that. Man, that hasn't happened in a while. I haven't accidentally caused the death of a beaver. You know, this is in memory, in loving memory of J. Lai. Apparently he had a mustache and a beard. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous beaver. Gone too soon. Gone, but not forgotten. Fun day for kids and adults. Go on the wind tunnel, go for a mud bath, get indoctrinated. You know, the regular life of a beaver. You know, who, who wouldn't want a better Sunday? Oh, I should probably also not highlight it, see what it actually looks like. <laughs> I'm looking at it all high. Man, that looks way better. Not night too. Oh, no, yeah. I was about to say, they could light up the windows. I just didn't see the windows lit up. Well, hello, hello. Uh, before I get to uh, unpause the game, I kind of want to go over the update for Timberborn, the new patch date or patch note for uh, 1204. Um, this is all in the experimental branch. They're adding attractions. So for us in our game, it's going to be this, the little uh, motivate motivatorium. Uh, definitely going to want to put that in this episode, especially because I'm working on the, uh, the recreational area. Um, some updates to other buildings. Um, the engine no longer requires worker. Uh, temple now requires extract. Uh, you know, a couple of other little small changes. This is the bigger change that most people have been talking about, which is changing to or changes to how irrigation works with pools of water. So I'm going to need to double check that as soon as I start the game to make sure everything is still irrigated properly. Um, granted, I don't really use these kinds of systems, so I shouldn't be affected by this too much. Uh, some bigger um, indications, like a little, little splash screen for uh, changes of season. Um, this is great. I love this. Being able to flip buildings without having to use a mod to do it. It's awesome. The extract becoming green again. Awesome. Love it. Um, granted, I, I've never, like, none, none of these changes, like, none of these changes to the color have really ever bothered me. But but it looks cool. I like it. Temple has it. You can see the little green gas. Um, but yeah, a bunch of other little minor fixes and minor changes. Just wanted to go over the new changes in the patch. So now we can get back to the game and I can flip it back on fast. Let's see here. That's all irrigated well. I can probably start setting in some of this canola in this area that I want to add to these farming. That stuff seems to be probably even more ir- Oh, I get to actually catch it. But yeah, I have the spillover into this pool. Stuff is actually probably more irrigated, potentially, than it was before. Considering I usually rely on these kind of larger pools of water uh, to do my irrigation. Oh, nope. I lost it here. I got to pause. That's dying in two days. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Or point two days. So I'm losing all this. This is all gone. Huh. I might have to... I might have to channel in here then I probably do a little crisscross okay so I'm going to need to channel in there and then I'm probably going to do a little cross like that and I'm going to need to blow that out that needs to get done quickly I think yeah I think there's no way around actually just losing all of that all of this here canola uh 0.2 days I can start setting in some dynamite yeah Dang. Oh, well. Oh, I should put... I mean, I'm losing all this stuff anyway. I might as well just do this right. Do two charge. I don't think I'm going to lose this cassava. Or I lost this canola. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, I don't think I need to have that little edge. I guess I'll mark that for planting. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. I'm still in temperate. No, I'm in drought. So I don't know if the water is going to go out to this area. Let me keep checking. 
all of this is fine. All my new little oak irrigation seems to be okay. And you know, I do, I do like it. I, I, at least I do prefer it. I you know the extract is weird. It, I think it's okay if it looks weird. I think it's okay if it looks like sciency and science fictiony. That's kind of like part of the whole, like its whole deal. You know. Oh, drought ended. That's, you know, that's cool. I like this. I like this little splash screen. It's, you know, it's kind of cute. Adds to the set, to the uh, aesthetic of the game. But, you know, it's a cute game. It's a weird, it's a fun little kooky game about freaking post-apocalyptic beavers. Okay, drought ended. My reservoir emptied out. These guys are still doing their little business over here. Let's go, man. Let's go, set it. Come on, Solix. All right, none of you die. Good. That should... It is not irrigating that. I don't think I'm going to need to wait for the runoff to get into this area. I don't know how long that is going to take. Oh, I also, also just for like the sake of uh, like, ah, maybe I could do that next episode. I was going to say for the sake of a title to get my storage up to a million is something wrong here my battery's not connected how come i'm not reading my oh did something change is that part of huh hard to tell uh i'm trying to see if there is um something with the power changed i because i used to be able to see i don't know if that's part of the smart power system where I could actually see how much power I had stored. Uh, I'm going to have to do math. So 5,800 uh, times, you know, a number. Uh, weird. I wonder if the smart power, if the smart power got messed up. Yes. The update somehow affected, changed how smart power works. The mod smart power. Because this is not functioning. But it is not in the power saving mode. Okay, so that mod is not working. Uh, I wonder what else was affected by it. This was too. Ooh, that it that kind of sucks. Uh, I did not check if any other mods got affected by the the update, but floodgates got affected. I think, because I don't see... Yeah, I don't see the connected floodgates. Okay, so the mods got broken. The mods got broken with the... Um, with uh, the update. Which isn't great. Um, kind of to be expected. Uh, I'll check back in the... You know, before the start of the next episode to see if there's uh, updates out that kind of bring back the two mods that I've been using which are the uh, Smart Power mod and the uh, Floodgate mod. But, you know, I think I, I'm okay with losing those, those two specific mods over the ability to get the new, like, Motivatorium and all that, the new buildings. But that needs to be paused. This is at 1.5. This is 2.5 is fine, I think. At least with the change over here, probably is fine. 1.5, this being open, this being open, this being, yeah, that being closed, so it goes this way. Cool. Ah, uh, no, it's still back flooding. Oh, it's black flooding over there. Oh, this is the first time I've seen it. That's where I'm losing some of my power. Okay. I might want to, you know what? I'm going to kind of build a path out over here to kind of put levees here. See you guys after I get that done. Okay, so I marked it all down. You know, I built the little path and the stairs to for them to get access to this area. As soon as that gets uh, done, I will come back. Uh, they're probably going to actually before I leave this, let me mark this all up because they have other platforms that they're going to want to build back over here. Now that this is, wow, this is still dead. Uh, okay. Let's do a little bit bigger. Let me double check other places to make sure 
I'm still okay in my other regions. Uh, this had a flood over. Oh, another thing I thought of that I could do. So in this region, I had brought up how uh, trying to maintain this level would be difficult. Uh, like maintaining the, the water level in this area. But I think the thing I could do, kind of talking about setting up a little water reservoir here, is if I shut off this area. So if I created like um, platforms here or floodgates here, or even just a dam system, like levees and dams, that uh, it actually will do the job that I want it to do. Actually, it would just be dams because I just need to keep it at one high. So having a even a modicum amount, like a small amount of water saved back here, would actually will keep this hydrated, or keep this under one level uh, high. So I'm never, I'm never losing losing any time of having these guys uh, underwater. And then this could be access to stairs here. Pull that around there. Give it a path. Uh, and then I need to double check this every when that's built, because I might need to actually, you know, I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to actually get, blow this out a little bit so that it, I don't get the, uh, the restriction of it being only six and it like flooding back. Uh, okay. They are able to reach that stuff over there. Let me go back to here. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't need to do what I just did, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because uh, I just noticed that all of this is green. Uh, I guess it was still just a little too low. I will do this anyway, just to give a little bit bigger of a pool. A little more irrigation. Okay, that's fine. That way I can probably expand it a little further if I wanted to. Uh, and then that'd be good. Still not producing enough canola. Gonna be trying to keep up with that demand. I might even expand this out a little further. Let me get, where's my terrain block? Okay, a little more terrain. I know I said I wanted to have like a little cafe fun area over here. I'll just see if I can still do that, but my bigger priority is trying to get that, that canola to, you know, to actually be, to get used or to get picked up and, and uh, used by these beavers. I don't think they're actually moving it fast enough because this wants this side. I, I am trying to bring in canola seeds. Uh, what is my population? No haulers in this district, so I'm not even creating power anymore. Huh? Okay. Okay. Just saw that. All right. The update gives me a little bit of, you know, some complications while adding some other stuff. Let me get... Let me just go on the other side of the town center. I also just realized while I'm waiting for this to get built, I think I just realized that I don't actually have, I don't think I actually have storage for canola seeds in this district, which isn't great. And considering I kind of want to make this a big like exporter of canola seeds, I might want to, if I can find a space for it, I might want to make a large storage unit, large warehouse. I'll just put it here. That's fine. Let me get another pair of stairs over here as well. And this being for canola. Uh, what are you all building where you're not doing? The, oh, yeah, they are building. While I'm waiting for some of that stuff to get done, I think I actually will also go into this area, widen this channel a little bit more and then i also probably go over here as well to see if i can widen this channel let me get one there and then i will blow that then as soon as i get access to this one i'll blow that out and i'll put more dams uh here i can also pr already put another dam here again as much as i can kind of restricting or not not trying to restrict the flow of the water so it can kind of keep flowing without building up and pulling over like pulling over into like the ledges and like some of these little like you know escape valves is this all set cool let's blow it up
that chewed into my frame rates. Uh, the other thing too that I want to try putting up is I saw that for the for the Iron Teeth Beavers, uh, there was an update to the rooftop terrace. Uh, I don't have any of those put in currently, and I'd like to put some in just so I get to get an eyeball on it. And I might do it up here in this little lovely district. Uh, let me get the well being. Where is the motivatorium is right there. Rooftop terrace. Oh, that's neat. Huh. It's like a little like uh, I wonder if that's going to be like fire or if it's like steam. That's cool. I like it. I like the look of it. Uh, considering they're doing that. Okay, I have haulers here now. Haulers are going to the new updated engine. This lasts for 47 hours. That's good. Also, without smart power. No, I should be fine. I'm generating 5,000. I wonder what this is. It 5,000 per centimeters a second. Like, what is the time horsepower? Or like 5,000 horsepower units per what? I need to know what the is it delta? The delta of the 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 time, the the rate of change. Yeah, I need to know what that. I think it's like per per. It's hard to say per day. Let's say here on these wheels. Just says horsepower or HP per centimeter per second or S, which is you would assume a second, but I don't know how this system, how this game works for hours and, and days. There's not really like, I just have days. I don't have ways to like mark that out. Anyways, 270 horsepower. This turn. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're calculating stuff. I don't. I feel like I'm missing data in order to get a complete picture. Okay, so this place has its haulers. I put in a place for it to store canola. Gathering canola over there. This is getting more canola. Let's lay in some more canola over here. They are still working on that over there. I can blow out these charges. And I can get the dam in here this is going to need to also get blown out this also could get an expansion this is still being worked on and then last 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 level okay and as soon as this gets blown out i will i probably also should start on getting a no i can connect the power through here i was gonna start getting like the power to come down well actually let me let me let me expand to where this will eventually end up i think that'll be as wide as i go with these batteries that way i can you know it's still on the mountain well I can do one more. I'll do one more. There you go. And then I'm going to build all the way back to the edge of the map and kind of do the same thing where kind of rows of powers that are kind of branching off the, the forward facing row. Canola has a place to get stored over here, which is good. I might actually need to get more farmers and my scrap metal ain't great. I wonder if I should just do... Yeah, I should just do the efficient mine. And I might actually even need to get another another breeding pot in here. Utilize it. I wonder if it's worth it to just replace. You know, yeah, I'm going to try it. I don't have it anywhere. I just kind of want to try it. And I'm going to probably replace all of my breeding pods with, at least in this district. I want to try out this, this bit of business. The new or the relatively new advanced breeding pod for the the iron teeth. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, hope hope to catch the other ones later. Uh oh yeah, this could also start to get expanded. Oh, I'm also so glad for the new like splash screen updates for the <laughs> for the the season changes. Because now without having everything automated on stream gauges, it is probably going to be easy to forget 
that I don't have that and then just watch a whole bad tide just flood through my everything and then just rock my entire world because I just have like just have to sit here and just go okay you know um I also saw something on reddit where people were talking about a bug with water with the iron teeth maybe where they were kind of sucking through their water supply I'm not seeing that at least right now, I'm not seeing anything like that. But, you know, be aware. Laying in another dam. Waiting for this. How's this stuff going? Oh, they're starting to cut down these trees. So I can, as soon as this guy does his job, I can lay in the levees. I guess they switched out. Union break. Okay. You're not going to get this guy? Come on, guys. There he goes. Okay, lay in the levees, so hopefully I don't get any spill out that goes there. I think that's too high, at least for as high as I'm setting these, this, the dam currently. This goes. Now I can do two charge there, one charge there. I've also apparently chewed through my dynamite supply, which, you know, makes sense. I'm placing a lot of dynamite, but I only have 180 left after being, I think, pretty recently. I'll check back in the video. But pretty recently pretty stacked on my dynamite i might just for future projects don't think i'll need it but might as well just get me another large explosive storage location oh yeah wood is at 2.3k good lord that is a beautiful number to see and i wonder if i should stack up some more lumber Again, the, the way I operate is uh, I say I should do a thing um, as I'm already like clicking and going through the process of doing it. So I'm like, you know, rhetorically asking myself whether or not I should do a thing. I, I, I know I'm going to, uh, you know. Drought. Okay. So with the drought happening, I don't think I need to change anything. I think this could go up to, let's say, let's try two. Maybe even, oh Lord, I did wasn't paying attention to that. I wasn't paying attention that was dropped all the way down. So I have no water in my reserve. At least I'm not gonna have a lot. These two pumps are gonna do what they can. Might as well also get the next pump in there. <sighs> Yeah, they're gonna fill that up as much as they can. Dang. Should have noticed that earlier. Uh, that probably means this is also... No, this is at 1.5, which is fine. Do I have any other... What other floodgates? No, those are dams. Okay, I think... I think that's everything. I think that's fine. Is this all laid in? Yep. Blow it up! Mmm, beautiful two frames. Lovely, lovely. Uh, does this need to exist in the way it is currently existing? Uh, I'll deal with it later. And currently wondering... Oh, man. 1.7k food. Okay. Delete that. Go here. Let me get some more, uh, let me get another farmer in here. Okay, so my food is dropping pretty substantially. Uh, raw ingredients is fine, or at least coffee, eggplant. Yeah, I can't make, like, no, I can make eggplant rations, corn rations, algae rations. I have plenty of fermented mushroom. The soybean is still pretty short. This was making some... No, this was making eggplant over here. My soybean expansion was these guys. What are you, what are y'all building? What are y'all getting up to? Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay. So, no, still 1.5. Dropping. Okay. I think with my... With my wood needs being better handled... Let's see where where can you gather you're gathering everywhere 
I'm going to get another little pocket of mangrove fruit potentially gathered. Let's increase that a little bit. Uh, I might just need to get more farmers and more stuff planted. Where exactly I'm going to plant that is a bit... I really want this to be not farm area, but like, you know, a little recreational spot. I could get rid of just some of my coffee. I kind of like this being like a whole thing. I think I might... I think I may end up kind of building up this ledge and then building out here and making a little pocket of something here. But what, what would be the thing? Kaurabe, algae is relying more on getting my supply of canola up. Might just need to be canola seeds. Another little pocket of canola seeds up here. Okay, let me begin that process. Let me get some terrain up here. And I'll fill out this little area. So if I get some terrain in here, let's see what that'll do for me. And then I'm probably going to tear out all of this coffee, put in a work area, and get this all canola. Because I have this canola here, but I don't think they're actually moving it quite to the speed that I'm needing it. Let me get a couple more here and a couple more here. Hoping to deal with that. Drought started. How much water did I pull in before the drought started? Okay. It's not crazy. It's not great, but it's not crazy. I also have to be mindful of this now. I'm not, I, I can't just like let it slip, you know, taking care of keeping this stuff irrigated. Cool. This all, this all gone. Well, all right. Uh, this is this one of I can put in this, this stuff. I want to get some wind tunnels. Uh, the power is this. I wonder if I should get, huh? I'm going to need a gap in order to get the power to actually connect. And then I could build behind it. I could actually probably build another number cruncher. Uh, do I need another cruncher? I'm a friggin' 30 K. 30k science. If I need a number cruncher, I can build one behind it. Uh, and let me get the power to swing over to it. So I have this, and then I can probably get... I might as well, if I'm going to replace breeding pods, might as well get this, the new breeding pods. Do I need any more breeding pods in this area? Uh, I'm pretty good with... The amount of workers and beavers that I have, I'm 125, and I kind of want, probably prefer not to scale up while I'm still trying to deal with my food shortage issue, uh, waiting for this to finish up and then I'll destroy it. And I missed the chance on those. I don't know why it feels weird to like when there is, you know, at least more than half of the like progress in in these little like breeding pods it feels bad to like destroy it i'm not trying to i'm not trying to make a statement about nothing you know just oh it feels weird to me to like destroy the, the little breeding pod when it's like almost done okay that's gone uh i also want to get mud pits in here and i wonder if i should do it let me see if i where is the mud bath if i do it like that and like that I can't exactly crash into it that well. Let me see. Hmm. Is this the best place for this? Do I want to destroy this? Maybe put mud baths over here. Put a like, root down do the mud bath. The mud bath would be right on this corner. Or I can kind of bring power up kind of back around over here. Because this is a little funky and awkward. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I am going to change this up. Sorry, beavers. I'm going to have to disturb you your little ride on the on the wind tunnel. Let's get this scrapped up. Let's get a couple more. If I build them like this. Here. Here and here. It actually fits well. I can pause. Pause. So I get a... 
power. Get some power connected up here in the back. Can they reach this? Yeah. Let me get that built quick. I'm going to need to figure out a way to get power out of here. Might just do up here and then start blowing out. Oh yeah, and also the mud bath, I can flip it. Oh god, not what I wanted. I go to mud bath and I hit F. I could put it here and I could build that out. Okay, I build the mud baths there. How much does the mud... Oh, so it's a big building. This needs power, correct? What do I plug in power? Just like the sidewalls? Is there an obvious place the power goes in there? Okay, we'll see. God, God dang it, these... Friggin' beavers. That was my fault. I think I, 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 I did my instructions wrong. I should have gone from here to there. I think I went from there to there. Silly beavers. Cool. Get that guy in there. That needs to go up in priority. I'm at 65 dynamite. Does this have workers? Yes, it does. They are filling that in. Okay. This is what is my height here? I'm at 1.3, so I'm still 0.3 high up here. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's see, hungry beavers, but nope, they're just not not eating. It's fine. Okay, this is cool to get the wind tunnels up. Uh, gears are at 1.2, planks are at 1.7, metal blocks is at almost max storage. Uh, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, little buddy. Oh. I feel terrible about that. Oh, man. I think it was J July or something like that. J July. <sighs> man. That's a bummer. I didn't want that to happen. All right, where's my decorations? This is just JLI shrub. This is in memoriam. Actually, let me get a beaver bust. Here was JLI bust or beaver statue. I'll do, I'll do the bust. You deserve a bust. <sighs> Man. I'm going to need both. I could pause this real quick so they can build the other stuff. Man, that hasn't happened in a while. I haven't accidentally caused the death of a beaver. And could I rename this? No. But, you know, this is in memory, in loving memory of J. Lai. Apparently he had a mustache and a beard. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous beaver. Gone too soon. Gone but not forgotten. Okay, and if I get, oh no, I'm going to need to go, man, I am making all kinds of mistakes right now. I need to build a platform so they can get there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. hold on, pause, pause, pause. If I go down here, no, I'm fine. Gosh, I am making tons of mistakes. If I build on here, anchor, the mud pit is this wide. Yeah, I'm fine. Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay. I wonder if the busts are different. Like if they have like different beaver beaver heads. Um, I thought I remember seeing that somewhere or like maybe one of the patch notes talked about it. Where is? No, it looks like the same guy. This is going to be creating a much higher demand for my power. I'm going to need a bridge back up in order to get to the Mo Motivatorium. If I get that there, going to need a bridge up for power here. A nice little fun day for kids and adults. Go on the wind tunnel, go for a mud bath, get indoctrinated. You know, the regular life of a beaver. You know, who, who wouldn't want a better Sunday? You know, 
wind tunnels, mud baths. Okay, that needs power. Let's get some mud baths in for you. And also probably get another... Oh, let me see. Did that... Did that end up being something different? No. And I want to get... Might as well get the beaver statue also. This is also in loving memory of July. July. I hope I'm getting that right. Okay. Oh, they built that out pretty good. There's a little... Might as well put the batteries in there too. Better there, better there, better there. Oh, uh, yeah, see? Caught lacking. I wasn't paying attention. That's up 1.03. Let me lower the gates a little bit. If I go to one, gonna let some water out. Probably not gonna be enough. Nope, nowhere near enough. So if I just go to zero, let all the water out. Also doesn't look like it's enough water. Oh, it is letting out some. Okay. That dried out. This could get some water out over here. Filling up, filling up, filling up. Okay, what are we at over here? We're at 1.3. So I can close this off. This is still going to be filling up this guy. This is at 1.17. Is that 1.13? Is this still letting out water? Yes, a little trickle of water. I uh, might be able to yeah, let out a little bit more. Kind of get this a little higher. Now, this is a little trickier um, using so many floodgates uh, and micromanaging it. These little pools are keeping these guys alive a little longer. Oh, I didn't build any way for these guys to get access to that area this probably just dried out uh, let me get dam here oh i should also probably blow that out uh this can get gone this can get gone dam there that looks fine what else was i working on these general areas i think it's fine now still working on those platforms they're working on that little thing this guy's building out this area that's going to be more canola food is at 1.7k i'm still 1.2k of algae just can't get made because they just don't have canola oil because they just lack seeds and this dried out why did that dry out oh did that whole I assume the whole chamber underneath here dried out. Weird. This is just being irrigated by these big pools. I feel like it's actually like it dried out faster than before, before the update. Like this little pool of water. Hmm. I wonder if it would be worth it to expand it even further just to get more more volume of water considering like yes if i expand it further i'm gonna lose more crop area but if i can't even keep the crop there then it doesn't really matter and maybe even or i let me do three down let me make it a little deeper these can be three three level charges oh i forgot about the grand opening of my motivatorium um, I mean, that could wait. Let me get platforms down this way. Yeah, it's been been having shows for a while. Let me see. What are we motivating our beavers to do? Building stuff. Chopping stuff. Building stuff. That's cute, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I should probably also not highlight it. See what it actually looks like. I'm <laughs> looking at it all high. Man, that looks way better. Not night too. Well, oh, I thought the lights were on because it was nighttime. It was to represent that it was daytime. You know, it'd be cool. I think it would be hard for them to maybe not. If it would, if it knows that it's. 
I mean, cause, oh no, yeah. I was about to say, they could light up the windows. I just didn't see the windows lit up in the other version. I mean, that's cool. I really like it. I like it a lot. But I got my little fun district over here. Little fun area. Uh, yeah, two, two wind farms. Uh, droughts ended. This was emptied out. Didn't really do. Uh, well, I'll maintain this area a little bit. Put that back up to 2.5. This is 1.5. This will last hopefully until the water makes its way around the mountain. But if not, I have plenty of water here that I could send down this way. Yeah, my swimming pools aren't active, but go to the mud bath if you feel like you really need need something. Uh, demand is almost the same as my power output. I'm actually gonna need to expand my power now. Smart power got me too used to, uh, or didn't quite, um, was letting me get away with less power consumption. Um, and that might be, that might be instead of actually building out the dam like I wanted to. I got my, my fun district in, so that's good. I enjoy that. And let me set up the expansion of of my water wheels. Hmm. I might also have another another gap here to just kind of make it so it you know it aligns a little better. Um yeah. All right, my little build moment is done. So this is where I'm going to step down again. So kind of curled around here. I'm going to step down again over here. Um, I might need to build another gap so I can kind of. Well, I could probably do that over here somewhere, or I could probably I probably would need to do it in this little step down to make sure that I can actually get to this lower level without having to do some weird um, bit of business. Let me get the platforms. Actually, let me let me let me lay that in real quick. Also, okay, cool. Uh, one more thing. Let me get this path around here. Okay, so setting up for where the next set of wheels are going to go and this wheel should just connect right into the you know if i anchor it here it should kind of connect back into here um which means i will eventually need to delete this platform but i don't need to quite do that just yet um i need to make sure that they're going to be able to get everywhere and that everything can get built and i'll notice that as stuff is getting built but yeah sucks about the mods that i'm currently working can they not kick out? oh i can't get all the required materials it's missing explosives um out of um out of explosives in this district uh why aren't you getting water should be getting water day four okay there goes a rush of water that should be coming into here come on get back here Can blow out all that and i think i might jump start this little bit of business that I was working on up here where I'm going to mark all of this area to get uh cut down don't know if I have I should have available workers and builders who should be rushing to do these this job at least I can't I don't know they've built all my extended batteries that's a different job assignment this is a different district yeah, I should have nothing but available both bot and living. Oh, duh. They're doing all this. I was like, what? What are they doing? What are they working on? It's like, oh, yeah, I have a whole extension I did to my friggin dams. 
That was dumb. Uh, okay. You get another farmer in here as soon as this gets a little area gets cleared out for my farmer. Okay. And he'll go right plop here next to this little warehouse. And I'm going to set this whole area to be canola. Canola here, canola there, canola right there. I mean, he's going to reach back there. Might as well put a canola back in this area. Going to need a lot of canola. I'm probably even going to expand out because it looks like it's still irrigating. So let me get even more terrain put into here. Maybe even see if I can get all that done. I don't think I can actually reach that, but we'll see. We'll see how far I can reach. Okay. Cool. These guys still need dynamite, which is, I assume, slowly being handed off to them. These stores are building back up with dynamite. My bad water is pretty empty. My extract is pretty high. I mean, but the grease demands is also cutting into more than likely my extract and dynamite messing all that up. But yeah, hopefully this guy. Well, actually, let me uh, let me motivate. Let me get that a little higher so that I can actually start planting the canola in this area. And then I think I think I should be settled as soon as I get this this last little bit of explosive in. I can kind of see how long this hopefully this will last me, you know, the next uh drought cycle. Yeah, that being all the way low is fine. The yeah, these three pumps are getting the water. Uh Considering I can actually set these to be just water in case there's some accidental bad water spillover somehow, for some reason, it's not going to go into here. Potentially save me to help flush out bad water if I ever do make the mistake now that the um, advanced stream gauge mod is not working. Hopefully when I record the next episode, it's back up. Oh, that's something I've been wanting to talk about. Um, probably should have said it at the beginning. Um, but I'm trying to have a schedule for when both when I record and when I, uh, when I record, when I edit and when I publish, and it's going to end up being every other day, uh, going to try to publish a video at 5 PM, uh, Pacific time. So that's, that's currently the goal right now is to have a video out every other day. I would love to be able to do every day, but that definitely is. You know, like these recordings could be anywhere between an hour or three hours of me recording and skipping past, you know, um, certain parts of uh, what's going on. So the recordings can be pretty long. The editing is also takes a lot of time. Um, and just to do that every single day, it is it, it was pretty hard. I did that for a little bit to kind of get content on the channel to get videos in the channel. But you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to keep up with to do daily uploads. So I'm going to try to do every other day to give me a little bit of a break. Hopefully that, that little, little, bit of, ugh, little bit of a break gives me more time to do even more. Like I can spend a little more time on the edit. I can do a little bit more like meme jokes in the edit. I could do a little bit more, you know, I could start working on some of the animation. I have, I have the, the like and subscribe animation that I want to have like here when I, early in the video. I'm working on that animation. I, I, I was thinking about, and I might do, where I just start putting it even as a work in progress. Like as soon as I have the like sketch of it up, like the the rough of it up, just start putting it up there. And then like as I release and as I publish videos, as I'm updating the animation, I'll put those updated animations. So there'll be a point in which like the finalized version will be up, you know, versus all the like the work in progress stuff. You know, that, that's that's the idea I have in my head currently of how I'm going to do that. But I think I'm good with where I'm at in this episode. And I think I might leave you guys off with a little a little bit of a time lapse build of my beavers building this area. Yeah. And I'll have some classical music still from the same spot, still from um, the Ludd and uh slap musical emporium i might actually start dipping into because i i you know i i edit with adobe premiere and i have the adobe creative cloud and when you have an adobe account not that this is an advertisement for adobe i mean i would love to if they paid me 
We would love to get paid to to do that. I mean, just getting paid to make content and sponsorship, it means that you get to invest more into your content. But anyways, um, it's not an ad for Adobe, but you get access to like a bunch of libraries that they have and they have a music library, they have sound libraries, they have a bunch of stuff. So like, I just downloaded a bunch of libraries. I was checking out their stock stuff for music and everything. So yeah, I might start dipping into that. But for now, I'll keep using the Lud and Schlatt. And then I'm going to end this episode. I'll say, say it again. Say bye or see you. Bye and take care. Enjoy the time lapse.